Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss about data validation methods in Excel. The data validation feature helps you to control what can be entered into cells. For example, we have a form in Excel and I want to take data of age which must be between 18 to 45 years. Along with that, I have one more field named as PIN code where the length of the PIN code must be 6. In this case, the data validation feature will help us to restrict the entries as per our need. Let's move to Excel and understand it in a better manner. Here we have multiple scenarios. Let's do it one by one. In the first case, we want to enter only string. Place cell pointer at B3 and go to data ribbon. Select data validation command. From the drop down menu, select data validation. Here we have three tabs, settings, input message and error alert. Let's work with settings. Here in allow section, any value is selected right now. Let's click on it and select text length. The next is data. Data section refers to the operators such as less than, greater than, between, equals to and things like that. So we need to select equals to and write 5 in the length. Now click OK. Now let's enter rest in cell B3. Here we have an error message because the length of rest is not 5. To prove it, let's write analytics. Again you can see, since the length of the string is not 5, it has not accepted it. Let's try to enter a string of 5 characters. Let's write Sunil. This time you can see it, it has accepted the string because the length of the string is exactly 5. Let's move to next. Here we want to have a date which is between 1st January 2012 to 31st December 2013. Place the cell pointer at B5 and again go to data validation and here, here in allow section select date and in data section select between. Now I'll put the start date which is 1st January 2012 and the end date which is 31st December 2013 and click OK. Now I want to put a date, let's say 1st January 2011 and here you can see that it is showing the same error message because this date value does not lie within the defined range. Let's try and put some different text. Let's write input and again you can see the same error message has appeared. This time let's write 3rd January 2013. This time it has accepted the date lying within the defined range. Third one. Enter a number between 25 to 50. Let's do it. Select the cell B7 and go to data validation. Select whole number from the uh, allow drop down and in data section put between it is already there. Now put 25 under minimum box and 50 in maximum and press OK. Now the cell B7 will only accept the whole number which is between 25 and 50. Let's try to check it once. So I put now 12. It has not accepted the value because it does not lie within the defined range. And this time let's put 30. And it has accepted it. After doing these three exercises, you must have got an idea of how does data validation works. Let's move forward to the next exercise. Here we need to create a dropdown of North, East, West and South. To do it, let's uh, select the cell B9 and again move to data validation. Select list and this time in the source dialog box you can put N, N, comma, E, S, W. So the main reason behind putting these four letters here is that we want a list which should get populated by north, east, south, west. So the list that will show in the Excel sheet will have these four options. Press OK. Here you can see that cell B9 has a drop down button. Let's click on it and see the options it is showing. It is exactly the same that we had entered in the source, north, south, east and west. We can also refer group of cells from worksheets like put A, B, C and D in range K5 to K8. So it is already there, but this time if you would have noticed, 
we had entered the value north south east and west manually but this can also be done automatically by selecting the range from an existing worksheet let's try to do it now so let's do it we'll uh, click on the cell c9 and we'll go to data validation and click on data validation and we'll select list from allow and in the source we'll simply select the range perfect press ok and here you can see that in this drop down the list is now populating the range that we wanted to have let's move to the next one so how to display a message for a cell input select the cell b7 go to data validation and move to input message check box on for show input message when cell is selected enter the title as hello in the message box we'll write please enter whole number between 25 to 30 and press ok between 25 to 50 here you can see that the message is displaying against the cell whenever we place the cell pointer on b7 it will display the message and if we move away from b7 to any other cell the message will get disappeared and if we once again go back to b7 you can see that the message is displaying now let's do a similar activity for how to display a error message select the cell b7 go to data validation and this time go on error alert mark checkbox on show error alert after invalid data is entered and then select the style of message let's select warning and in a title we'll write danger and let's write a, a message which is uh, you must put whole number you must put a whole number between 25 to 50 and we'll press okay now put number 12 outside the 25 to 50 and here we have the danger message so in this dialog box if you click on yes it will accept the value whereas if you click on no it will ask you to re-enter the value so now let's write 26 and this time it has entered the value without giving any danger message in this video we discussed how to use the data validation feature in excel i hope you have now understood it in the next video we'll learn to use what if analysis in excel